We need to talk about one of the beauty industries, a best kept secret. This will blow your mind. This is £10 for our luxurious hair masks. I would only use that brand if I could only pick one. We're going to tally up the prices for the exact things I want. You basically can't have a chair in the bedroom because the man thinks it's some sort of washing basket. another vlog I'm really excited to vlog in Dubai at this time because I won't get into it I'm talking about it far too many far too long now I seem to do my own head in but obviously I'm here for medical reasons and this is the first time that I have felt like myself again and I'll get into it at the end of the vlog but I really wanted to film like a little bit like I'm gonna film us going to the mall going for dinner I've got a play out of one way tomorrow so I feel like I can actually give you a good vlog this time so before we came, um, normally before I come on holiday, I like to do like a little beauty regime. Half hour max, because that's the amount of time I have these days. It's very rare that I have time to go and do like facials as much as I love all of this, like blow dry facials now. So those days are gone for me. Hopefully they'll be back one day. So I'm really into my zone of doing my own beauty. And you know I've been working on this for a good year and a half, all stemmed from those boy hormones when I was pregnant I never felt more confident with thick hair radiant skin and I made it a mission and I've come so far like my hair is like amazing that was in my last vlog if you'd like to see that I've got some hair care treatment going on in this um so basically I'm going to talk you through that half hour beauty routine I do I do it probably every Sunday I would say it's not a thorough but it's like my weekly one to set me up for the week. And I'll either do it before holiday or when I get on holiday, depending on the time. So I did this the day after I arrived and then I did it again last night because I've been here a week. So I have my, I can't believe I am this girl. So I used to be someone that would travel with two tiny skincare and tiny makeup. I used to wear no makeup, like moisturizer and that was it. This is my skincare alone. This is my hair. And then I have another bag for beauty. I am that girl and I absolutely love it. I can even talk you through my clothes if you want at the end because I barely have any clothes with me. I've like swi switched into a, like my beauty stuff is more important to me than the clothes I wear. So I don't know who I am, but everything you're gonna see in this bag is Beauty Pie. So Beauty Pie, I do work with Beauty Pie, but I pay for my membership because it's a membership based company where you pay for a membership which let me tell you is a very reasonable price and then that allows you to have a discount and the discounts are extortionate so it's like a third of the price sometimes less you're talking like a 28 pound brow product which is one of my favorite beauty pie products i'm wearing it today um that's like eight pounds it's insane the the discounts i pay for mine 100 percent myself i don't get a discount from them i buy so much from them so although it's a brand i work with it's a brand like pretty much everything in here I've bought. I love it so much. Now, the reasons why I love Beauty Pie, and just hear me out for these three points, and you will be mad not to try it. So you sign up for your, your membership. This is why I love it. The quality is like super luxury product. The price is like drugstore prices, but you're getting high-end product, and no one else has done that before. So that in itself is amazing. So the price and the quality of the product. The third reason why I love Beauty Pie so much is because this is really bold statement, but I say it to myself all the time. If I could only have one beauty brand to have for the rest of my life, and I mean one, not one for makeup, one for skincare, one for hair care, one beauty product, and they said, Claire, that's all you're allowed. Without a doubt, I would pick Beauty Pie. They are the only brand, show me another brand that does hair care, skin care, makeup, nail care, fake tan, and all products across the board are 10 out of 10. I rave about anything from hair care to fake tan to skincare, even their nail polish is my favorite. 
and I don't, I honestly don't know how they do it. I thought it was going to be like a skincare brand that dipped into nail polish, that dipped into a shampoo that I wouldn't really buy. I don't know how they a 10 out of 10 across the board. So that's quite a bold statement when I say if I could pick one beauty brand, it would be Beauty Pie. And there is something that I'm so excited about because it's summer, I'm on holiday. This is one of their newest products. So this is the Shinkai Electrolyte Drench. So this is going to be a great product to use for the summer and for holidays. It's a really hydrating, drenching, drenching moisturizer, face moisturizer. It's a three in one. So I applied this before my makeup earlier today, which you can see here. So this is a refreshing three in one gel cream with electro filled deep sea minimal infusion for deep hydration plus a youth boost. It's youth boosting, it's firming. I could go on and on. And the one thing I love about it, it helps the skin restore its own hyaluronic acid and it makes your skin look softer and dewier. For me, I will wear this all throughout the year because one of my main components for moisturizers is soothing, so I am very red and sore skin all the time. So this is going to be amazing for your summer moisturizer um, and definitely your go-to for the holiday because after you've been in the sun, it's going to be really soothing, it's really hydrating. And this to me feels like a hundred pound plus kind of cream. Like I've always spent a lot of money on my beauty products, even when I was younger. Um, even if it was just one, I used to buy literally a moisturizer when I back in my days at Harrods and I could just about afford it on my discount, but I always invested, even if it was just one moisturizer. I don't know how they do it. So the normal price, if you want to go check out as guests, because you can buy things from beauty as a guest, it's a hundred pound. I actually think that this should be priced more because it feels it's that the texture, the instant result, it should it could be priced higher. Um, if you buy this as a member, I think it's £34. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see the saving. It's really, really worth it. Now, whilst we're here, I'm going to talk you through. I managed to film a bit of um, me doing some of this. Oh, I've got to talk about this. Um, I'm going to show you some of my beauty pie favourites. So I am a gua sha girl. I didn't know what a gua sha was this time last year. I thought it was a fad. I thought it was those like obsessed beauty people, which I'm not quite there yet. It's got water in this one. If you do not have a gua sha, please put this in your cart immediately. I love the beauty pie one because it's very cooling and I'm get, going to get to why that is so important. It's got water in it. My favorite beauty hack is to put this in the fridge. It is so cooling. Now the whole point of a, oh no, I've creased my dress. Just like, okay, we'll find when it's in the humidity and it'll iron itself. So gua sha's, I'm not gonna do it now, but I'll show you in the cutout because I've got my makeup on. You do it along your cheekbone, you do it along your jawline and it stimulates the blood and it makes it more defined. And I, I really, I was thinking, mm, how can that do that? It actually does. I use this every night before my bed. It's like my favorite. If I get five minutes to myself, back in the day I would read a whole book for two hours. Now I have like five minutes gua sha and a like mint tea. That, that is my favorite thing to do. I discovered after a year of having this, if you have allergies, I mean, puffiness is a given. If you have puffiness, it will get, it really is the best thing for puffiness because you're physically like moving. I don't really know what we're moving out here, but like maybe like the fluid and like moving, I don't know, but it works. Um, so puffiness is great for, for allergies, this is my go-to. So my, for my allergies, it's red, um, I'm using two strong products sometimes on my face. If I put this in the fridge and I'm doing it all around my eyes, it's really cooling, it's no product, I can take it anywhere with me. If you have allergies, puffiness, you need a gua sha, and I love this one because it has water in it, and it's very, it's always cold, and yeah, I love it, I've never had one before that come in a bag. So what else can we talk about? Okay, I think we need to talk about one of the beauty industry's best kept secret, and that is Beauty Pie's hair care. So before I really, really got into my whole beauty regime after I had a baby, hair care was always a thing for me. I always would, would put effort into my hair and never do my makeup. I have always spent so much money on my hair care. Masks, shampoo, conditioner. I've been known to like, take the biggest shampoo and conditioners in my suitcase if that's the only one I could get from the brands that I love. The beauty, and I was a bit skeptical on this because it's very hard, in my opinion, to get hair care right. 
So this is the Beautify Shampoo and Conditioner. I've used that other one before, which just come back in stock. It wasn't in stock when I bought this, um, but I haven't tried this one, but this is really good. It's good for fine hair, but it's also really good for over-processed hair, and my hair is obviously colored. Um, perfect size for travel, but also perfect size for at home. So the reason why I love these is I really don't like shampoo and conditioners that hold a lot of weight in my hair because then you can't give yourself a blow dry. This is my hair after using the mask, after shampoo and dish out, and I haven't blow dried it. So this, this is my fourth tub of this. This will blow your mind. This is £10 for our luxurious hair masks. Um, and hair masks and shampoo and conditioner, they're so expensive. Like I easily will spend £100 on a hair mask. It's a decent size. Um, and just for £10, like even that alone, just to get your hair care and hair products alone from Beauty Pie, the discount will really be value, uh, value for money for you. Now what I love about the shampoo and conditioner is it makes my hair, all the things that are given, shiny, smooth, I mean, I've been in the sun, I've been in the swimming pool, but what I love about this is that it leaves my hair really, really light and it's still, it's still doing a treatment because it is for over-processed processed hair. The pink one is also really good for fine hair. I don't have fine hair, but I use it for the over-processed. Um, and I really feel like it brings that shine back. And I love that when, I haven't even blow dried this. This was just like a dry, because I'm trying to be really kind to my hair. But it's, it is a luxurious shampoo and conditioner for 10 pound, 10 pound. If you like your shampoo and conditioner, 10 pound is unheard of. And to be honest, even if you buy as a guest, it's still a really, really great price. But for shampoo and conditioner, I get through these like once every two weeks because I have so much hair. But for me, the Beauty Pie hair care is one of the best kept secrets for the beauty industry. I don't think people have discovered the amazing deal that you can get for luxury hair care with the discount. Now, I don't want to be here too long, so let me just flick through some of my favourites. I can't go through Beauty Pie favourites without talking about my nail polish. I always get asked what my nail polish is. Um, usually I have the bright red one. I've gone through about six of those now. I had one, I ordered six of them, and they've gone really sticky and gooey. So normally I like that for a summer holiday, but I'm using this one at the moment. What is this called? Riot at Red. So this isn't bad considering I did this with a mask on, with a toddler running around, you can see in the cutaway, literally in the corner of this hotel room. And look how good they turned out. And if you get a little bit on the side, which I got like a big bit here, top tip for if you do that with a nail polish, just leave it to dry, have a shower, and then it will either come off in the shower or you can just like pick it off your skin and you don't need to worry about nail varnish removal or anything like that. The reason why my nails look so good is because their cuticle, uh, their cuticle oil and their cuticle remover is so, so amazing. Like you barely have to even cut it off. And sometimes with the cuticle cutters, this, sometimes with the cuticle cutters, it can, um, I can cut myself, but their cuticle cream, where is it, the cuticle remover? These two, like that is what makes my, my self at home manicure amazing because the cuticle oil makes it last for, for like long, like I'd say double, and this cuticle remover, you have to buy one of these because it, can't, it kind of just takes off like a tiny bit of yourself and it's, you don't even have to do anything. These I love, I have really sensitive eyes, so, um, and really puffy eyes, and it's hard for me to find a treatment for one of these, and I, I love the, um, I don't want to get it over my dress, but you'll see it in the cutaway. I love that I can just take these to pick a couple out whenever I need them, and they're really soothing for me. They really were amazing after my flight. They're probably, I was going to say one off, but it's probably my favourite under eye masks. What else should we pick? I have a whole bag of goodies here. Um, whilst we're talking about hair care, this is the super healthy smooth booster so and it controls curls shines and smooth so i didn't use this last night i'll be honest with you i only use this when i've wet my hair and i leave it and it's so good this is my third bottle now everything i have here i've had for so long um everything from the lip balm this is amazing this is one of my newest products and it's like an eye rolling like really soothing. I think everything here is like for me really soothing, really cooling, really good for depuffing. I can't talk about everything here because then I'll literally be saying that everything's my favourite. I think before we go, um, 
the body cream is amazing. I'm very fussy with my body cream. There's only two that I use. This is one of them. I love how big it is. For so long, I could only find the tiny travel one because they, they never had this big one in stock. So if this is in stock today, grab one of these because the big one always is out of stock and it smells lovely. It's so good for my sensitive skin. And again, I spend a fortune on body cream because I get through so much. Twice a day I'm doing this, my whole body. I get through it so fast. So praise the Lord for an affordable, luxurious body cream. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because I'll literally go through this whole bag. Whilst I'm talking about favourites, I have to talk about Beautify a fake tan. Then Mousse one if I want a really intense tan. But I have to admit, I love the spray tan. It's such a fine mist. I'll try and find a cutaway of me using this because I haven't bought it with me. Um, because I'm having so much treatment, I can't be putting like fake tan on, so I didn't bother. Um, but it's so fine, the mist, you barely need to blend it in. It is the best bronzer, like fake tanner for me. Um, what else do I love? The eyebrow, the, eye, the eyebrow gel. I think I'll link a list of favourites, because otherwise I could talk here all day. But definitely, if you're looking for a luxurious moisturiser, definitely check out this. You can't go wrong for the price, but I'm here telling you, sensitive, miss sensitive skin here. This is amazing. It's so, it does make you look really dewy and feel really dewy without giving you that oily. Normally I stay away from dewy because it just means oily to me, but this is amazing. If you want a luxurious skin, uh, skin moisturizer, face moisturizer, not skin, face moisturiser, you have to try this. It feels like you've just invested in this super high-end cream and the price is really worth it. So don't forget to use that discount code Claire sent me. It will give you a discount off your membership. And I promise you, even if you just buy a handful of things, like one thing a month, and I'm talking about the eyebrow gel, you will already balance out because the, um, I think it's like the one-off payment is £59 for the year. So that alone, if you were to buy three shampoos and conditioner over the year, that alone will pay for your membership back. So you can't go wrong. It is the best beauty, the best beauty brand that has everything, skincare, nail care. I'm obsessed. I'm totally and utterly obsessed. And I think it's such a bold statement when I say I, I would only use that brand if I could only pick one. So um, the nail files are amazing, by the way. So earlier, I had such a cute day with Honoré because I, as the week goes on, I get more and more unwell and I can't do anything with him. So we had a little mum and Sunday today. We went, I put up a cutaway. So we, I went and got a pedicure. Mummy, yeah, how red. Yeah, red. Do you like it? Do you like red color for mummy? Should mummy have red again? Yeah. <laughs> red again. Red again. He sat on my lap, was watching, and I did his nails. Then we went to the cinema within the hotel, put up a picture. So we're at the Raffles Hotel. I don't work with any hotel whilst I'm here because the last thing I want is the pressure of doing like a whole photo shoot whilst I'm away. I don't mind this like casual stuff. Um, and we like the Raffles, it's really nice. It's like they have all the stuff for the kids. They have the cinema, it's amazing. It really reminds me of the Ritz Hotel though, which I love the Ritz. Obviously I got married there. So we've had such a nice day. Let me show you my dress. So I'm feeling, I love this dress so much. I'm so glad I ordered it in navy. I'm sorry about the room being a mess. It's probably everything everywhere. You don't want to see over there. So I ordered this in navy as soon as this dress came because I love it. It's so, like, I'm such a, like I'm not a, I'm not a, um, dressy up person on holiday. I'm really not. I get hot, I get bloated, but this is such a beautiful dress. And I thought for like weddings or like an event, if I have a dress that I love and it's cream, I try and get it another color because obviously I can't wear this to a wedding. So I have this in navy come in. I'll link it below. It's from one of my favorite high end high street stores. I absolutely love it. I was gonna wear this necklace with it, but I think it might be a bit much. Tell me what you think. Oh, my talking shoe with a mascara down my face, probably. It's because I was sitting outside on the balcony and it's so humid. What do you think? I think I might keep it quite basic. But that's nice, isn't it? Everything I'll link below, discount code, even where my little bags are from, because I have ones with my name on it and Paris has got one as well. We're gonna go downstairs, we're gonna pick up Paris and Honoré. 
I think we'll get a little something for dinner here, like snack-wise, and then we're gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna take you to the mall for me tonight. We're gonna go for a proper dinner out. Just wanna make sure on our own bed, basically, before we leave. And I'm after a couple of things. And I know it's more expensive in Dubai, but we're gonna we're gonna see that for sure. We're gonna tally up the prices for the exact things I want. And then we'll discuss, you know, what is the price of Chanel in, in London compared to Dubai. And I'm gonna show you the mall and see what it's like in Dubai mall if you haven't been here before. I, I, I won't talk anymore, but I love the mall. And I, I love that when you're bored, you can just go there at nine o'clock at night and it's still open for hours, so. And I love how lively things are in um, Dubai in the evening. But I don't mean clubbing, I mean like people walk around with kids at 10 p.m. So let's go and get the boys and go to the mall. Okay, we changed cameras. Um, wow, with this brush, by the way. Again, another beauty pie find. Um, I thought it was a normal paddle brush, but it's got the paddle brush, but it's got those soft brick bristles. It is, it's amazing. I know I just sound like a super fan, but Oh, it's amazing it's absolutely amazing because brushing your hair with a bad quality brush is really bad for your hair so this is me not this is not a blow dryer this is literally me just blow like just drying my hair with this paddle brush with a hotel hair dryer which is not good for your hair because they're never great um but the shampoo is just amazing and i recently had my hair colored it's in the last vlog this is also amazing so i just popped this on this is my third one of these this is the super healthy hair um it's rose hip and peach it literally just smells of peach and i use this you can see how much i use of that it's amazing if you've got really tangly hair like mine so i just put a bit of hair oil on um i just touched up my makeup this is another like one of my beauty pie makeups um, all my favourite colours, their prices are just so good, my lipstick, it's like a crown, so what I'm using at the moment is a crown with a lip balm, so I've got lip balm on and I just put it on like that, this is the bag of choice because the truth is I only bought one bag, so when I come normally, I normally bring like a Kelly 25, a mini Kelly, a Chanel, like ridiculous amount, so the only thing I've got this time I know I look bigger than what I am, but this is a floaty dress, you know. I'm not trying to hide anything. Like, I know the comments are going to come, but this is just me in a holiday dress. And I think if I'd put a belt, you would see that I still have my waist and I'm not pregnant or anything. But yeah, this is my only bag that I have. I've got my... Shall I show you what else I have? And then we'll talk about my shoes. Um, so I have my hair bag for the beach because last time I had no bag to fit all of Honoré's stuff in. Because you know he's not a baby anymore, so... I don't really need to bring anything out. There's just like emergency bits that I need for him because he doesn't wear a nappy anymore. And I just feel a bit like, oh, what do I take out for my baby? So, um, yeah, that was for the beach in the pool area. Uh, that That's what I travel in and if I want to use it as a bag, I always can, but I don't need that for the mall tonight. This is what I'm just going to wear. So, shoes. I have a bit of a dilemma with the shoes. I'm lacking a bit on the shoe front lately. So, these are the only cream shoes I bought. But these to me are like beachy pool shoes and I just feel like, I, yeah, I don't have the right shoes with me and I, I didn't really have any. I would have liked to have had my Aurans, but I only have Hermes Aurans in black. Where are they? I don't even know where they are. So many mirrors in this hotel room. So yeah, I would like to go and get a new pair of shoes, but I don't know. I know they're going to be more expensive, but the point is let's go and see how much more expensive it is because it's ridiculous i'm not going to get them which i'm going to put a bit more hair oil on this side and then we're going to go downstairs hello everyone um quickly show you my outfit we're going on a play date today well first of all i'm going to the hospital just wearing a comfy outfit um i'm going to the hospital first and then we're going to go and meet zion which is nikki's baby they're the same age and then, um, yeah, I think it's the last day that I have before I feel um, like not well enough to do anything. So a nice little play date day. We have just been to the hospital, then we went for a brunch. Um, and then we're just gonna have a quick, we're gonna have a quick um, visit to the mall because last night I went out and did these pictures of that beautiful dress I had on 
and the humidity killed us and we went we said we'll go back to the room to get some air con and then we didn't leave so we didn't go last night and we're gonna go now we need to go to the pharmacy we need to get some batteries for a toy that i bought him from england or earth cafe yeah we love earth cafe and um what else are we doing and i'm gonna look at chanel and prada for a few bits that i want if i can find it because the malls are huge but yes come to the mall with us where are we? What is it? What is it? Shop! Okay, so this is our favourite entrance. Sharky. Come on, let's go see Sharky. Sharky, honey. So it's the entrance where Cartier is, Chopard, all the fine jewellery. Um, there's Graf. So this entrance, I think, is the easiest. And there is the aquarium. So we've been inside. I think it's worth going but it's very expensive and it's not wow and Honoré just loves seeing the outside which I'll show you in a minute like looking at the sharks and you actually get the best view from the outside so for the price that it is I would say just take your kids to see it and just pretend that that's what it is because I don't actually think it was it was worth it um, so we'll go see the aquarium but you can see it's huge We've been here so many times and we haven't done the whole thing yet. So for attire, I look so terrible. Um, for attire, obviously you're in Dubai so be respectful, but it's not as strict as it used to be. When I came like 10 years ago, I would never wear shorts anywhere, but you can wear, you can wear shorts now, but I always make sure my arms are covered up, which I do anyway, because I think I've got fat arms. So I'm very Dubai attire. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I think I showed you, like, I'm covering my arms, just some shorts. Um, and if you're just getting up from the car to here, you can actually wear a full-on tracksuit because it's, they're, they're so cool inside the mall. And if you're here for hours, it gets quite cold. Um, so yes, let me show you the aquarium. That's where you get in. And it goes all the way down there so it's really big and you literally get a perfect view of all the sharks it's really good they get to see everything so you don't i think it's about a hundred pounds for all three of us to go in there if you want to do high-end shopping you can come to gallery lafayette like the Parisian Harrods um, it's really nice in here and they also have like kids clubs in here like we, we go in the kids clubs with him like Kids Anya there's restaurants you can literally be in here for hours I am looking for shoes these are nice This black and also in cream like waistcoat and shorts ended up picking up something in Zara so I really want to get a pair of shoes from Chanel and it's the one place with a stupid queue so I'll give it five minutes I can't believe I'm joining this queue first time for everything right lols it's just so annoying queuing to buy something who am I kidding this is a terrible angle um, the humidity and this I'm on the medication as well so obviously I look horrific um, yeah who am I kidding queuing for Chanel I really don't care enough I just wanted I honestly was going to queue in there like to show you what it was like and see the, the prices I'm not joking that like, I really don't care enough I was like oh I'll have a little look show everyone what it's like see what the stock's like see what the prices are like I stood there for like four minutes and um, I was like no 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 I'm, I'm not doing this it was like one person every 10 minutes so we're in Celine it's really really nice in here I'm getting 
hotter and hotter by the moment. Um, so, what's your thoughts on them all for everyone, as from a man point of view? I feel like you tolerate them more than anywhere else. Well, we could, I'm sure, the fountains. They do a fountain show outside, but that starts at 6 p.m. every half hour. Yeah, everyone knows that, but that is good to go to. So, from a man's perspective... Well, there's a lot of restaurants, so if you like food, that's good. Um, what else? He's just woken up. <laughs> Um, um, in the summer it's really good because it's too hot outside. Yeah, so in so England you go inside to come away from the rain, whereas Dubai it's an amazing thing to do when it's too hot. Like it's too hot for us at the moment. My thoughts on coming to Dubai in June, July, August. July and August it's really hot. For me it's so hot, I'm terrible in the heat. It's very humid. It's very, very, very hot and if you can avoid these months, I would do. Obviously we're here because we have to be. But it's not as bad as I thought. I mean, it's pretty bad. You get guaranteed weather every day. I mean, there's not yeah. been a single I mean, cloud. when I say it's not that bad, it is bad. But there's so much to do. Um, and it doesn't really cool down in the evening because it's still humid. So just be aware, it's very hot. But if I can be here, then anyone can be here. Because I'm really, like, can't deal with any heat. But I, even in the shade, it's too hot for me because that humidity is really stuffy. So I just go out for like an 45 minutes max by the pool. They go in the shade in the pool, so it's okay. Um, the sea is like a sauna, like a hot tub, <laughs> it's too hot. But yeah, the mall, right, my, my, sorry, my arm is really, um, I'm really gonna regret filming like this. So, overall, it's exactly how I thought. It's too expensive. If, if there's something you really want and you can't find somewhere else, like for example, um, the Celine Vanity I really liked. I think it was 830 there. So I'll find out how much that is in the UK and I'll put it there. Um, the thing that I really loved was that Louis Vuitton. I didn't vlog too much, but I really have an obsession with the Louis Vuitton trunks. Timothy Olton got me onto Louis Vuitton trunks. And I just love that you can buy them vintage. They look nice on your home. They're so classic. I can pass them down. You know, if I only have Honoré, like I can give him trunks for his house, so I really love that. Um, the trunk bag that I first fell in love with was this camera, it's called the camera bag. It was 37,000 uh, dirham I think, and that worked out to be about seven and a half thousand pounds. In England it's six thousand nine hundred pounds. So it's a significant, it's just like significant, like £600 is too much for me to be like, oh, I'll just buy it here. That is the kind of difference where I'll buy it at home. Um, so it is a lot more expensive, not like 100 or 200 Like I sometimes find in Paris, like the Chanel is like two, £300 more. Here it's, I'm really going to regret because there's this window shaded. So yeah, it is very expensive. I wanted a pair of shoes. Sorry, did I touch you? Sorry. I won't touch you. Um, yeah, I didn't find any shoes. The Chanel's, a lot of them had queues, could be bothered with that, and everything was more expensive. But it was just a nice day out. Um, like lots of restaurants, lots of places to drink. So that's the mall update. Now we are finally going to jump in. We're going to go meet Zion, and uh, I'll ask Nikki to show a few kid things because she'll know all the best kids' places for you. Who's on the phone? On the phone? Who's on, who are you speaking to? Bye. Say hello, it's Honor. Say hello. No, 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 no. Can we also just discuss this place? Okay. No. <laughs> okay, put it back, put it back. So, anybody knows that if you leave a chair, in a bedroom, mm. you basically can't have a chair in the bedroom because the man thinks it's some sort of washing basket. You, yes. So it doesn't matter how many times you clean it, you put things away, this will reappear within 10 minutes. So the wife or the woman of the house just leaves it like this because there's no point cleaning it up because it will just come back. This is why we don't have chairs in our room. Hi everyone, I want to finish this vlog because I feel like it was a mess vlogging yesterday. This is my outfit today. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, 
You might have remembered me talking about this on stories. I'm so happy with this look. I didn't intend to wear these together, stripes on stripes, but um, I'll link this below. It's from a high street store. But it even looks nice as a dress, so I'll link that below. Um, look how fat, I'll show you my skin outside. Um, this is my little setup. Yes, my two new three year old is on formula still, only in the night for comfort. But here's my little setup, I love these. Um, we're gonna talk about toiletries because I really love that Celine one I saw in the mall. But I feel like for packing, these are better because what I was finding with my beautiful Louis Vuitton ones, for long haul, one, they were getting squashed. And two, do you know what I did with one of the Louis Vuitton ones? In a rush packing, I threw my nail varnish in it and it, it leaked and now it's stuck to the side. And if I take it off, the whole interior of the leather is going to rip. So I've been really put off using luxury toiletry bags traveling. They're just going to be for at home or if I have a trip to Paris. So these are so good. Um, I'll link. They only have an Instagram because it's a small account. That's the nail varnish I have on. How good does my nail, do my nails look? Like they're nearly three days old today. Um... And I did them myself, like, in a bit of a rush. It looks like a professional finish. It really does. And I use the Beauty Pie contour. I've got my Beauty Pie body cream. We use this for our eczema, Honoré and I. Um, I've got my eye puff things that I use all the time. Called Paris Steel in one of them. This is really amazing makeup remover. This is the moisturiser that I'm using on the daily. And I always use this before. Put it in with my Gua Sha. Um, no, I've put it the wrong way around. That's my hair mask and that's my cream but you know it's just a rough i've got all my like hand washing because i do um that's to clean his bottles and i do some hand washing just while i'm here the rest is just like whatever um there's paris little beauty bag i've limited him to this small one because that man can carry more skincare than me my protein shakes um i'm just trying to have a lot of protein at the moment um little room tour we've got our, i should have shown you here Little, uh, do you want to see the clothes that I bought for myself? So I've got these, that's pajamas, obviously. I've got that. This is all Onis and Paris's, everything here. Look what I took my, for myself. That, you don't want to look at my granny knickers. Look, I've got like four t-shirts. I just didn't pack anything for myself. Honoré has enough t-shirts and to live here for five years. And I don't know, like, I was a... I was being such a mum. I packed the boys' stuff and literally gave myself two pairs of shorts, a dress, <laughs> and I literally bought nothing, but it's okay, I don't mind. So you come through here, it's our bedroom. All my stories, everything's been a complete mess. I promise we are tidy people. I come hanging it up and everybody can see, but that's just my hand washing. Beautiful view. Just to end this vlog, um, so obviously you know why I'm here. Well, you don't, but I will tell you about it soon. I told you I'm just processing it through myself. But before, I've been to Dubai twice now before, and I didn't even vlog. I didn't have the energy. I was so upset. I was, like, processing it all. And I feel really good now because, you know, when it comes to things like this, I was just seeing how close I was. When it comes to things like this, it's out of your hands. So you just do the best you can. You envision that things are going to be great. And I feel really good. Like, normally I'm, like, a lot more drained, but I feel really good. Um, I had the most amazing day with Nikki and her little boy yesterday. I didn't vlog at all because we're out with the kids and when, you know, when you're like really in the zone, having fun, you forget to take out your camera. And I wanted to zone off. What else should I... The shopping. Okay, so just to summarise, the shopping in Dubai. If you're coming, because it was probably horrible how I was talking to you in the, in the car. If you're coming to Dubai, June, July, August, it's so hot. I'm not going to lie, but... It depends how you are in the heat. I'm not even by the pool. The boys are. It's too even in the shade. It's too much for me. But there are things to do. You can sit in the shade. I recommend bringing a like a mini fan, which I forgot. So stupid. But it's Dubai. You can literally order every anything. I ordered Paris some indigestion tablets at midnight, and they came to the hotel. I ordered nappies to the hotel. You can literally get anything. You can order Amazon. So I love that about Dubai. Everything is accessible. You can get anything at any time. So the mall is definitely worth going. I feel like the men are okay there. Not stereotyping, but a lot of men do seem to moan about shopping in my world. So there's there's lots of things to do. There's so many things for kids. You can go to the aquarium. I put some bits up of Honoré at the aquarium. There's actually higher up, there's a viewing point. So make sure you go and see the viewing point for that. Um... 
Paris might go to this green planet. I'll put the information in the description, but it's this place where you can go and it's like done like the Amazon forest and things like that. Um, I'll put a little list, but there's like Oli Oli, Kidzania, um, Ready Set Go, which is where we went yesterday. I'll put up a picture. It's just like basically an, an in park ballpark on steroids. Um, there's so much to do. We don't really go to any restaurants, but um, there's so much to do here. Now, the shopping. I was so close to getting that Celine vanity, but it is £240 more than at home. So I'm not going to get that. And although it's only 240 when it's something that could be 600 it's too much for discrepancy. So the trunk, I love it so much, but I'm glad I didn't just impulse buy it because I feel like that's a classic and it's always around. I just love the, the trunks for my house and I've actually never seen that trunk. I'm, I mean, it's been around since last year. I just personally haven't seen it. I just been, haven't been looking at any bags at all, especially Louis Vuitton. And the camera bag, I also really, really loved. So I'm gonna see which one I prefer but it worked out around £650 cheaper at home. So that's a massive, massive difference. So I'm going to wait and see how I feel about that. Do you prefer the camera bag or the trunk bag? Let me know, they're exactly the same price. Um, Chanel had cues. Do you know, I found everyone very polite here. Like even in Chanel, they were very helpful. They were very nice. I just was over it by the time um, I actually got into Chanel. I only wanted to look at shoes and there was that massive queue, but then Paris found shoe heaven and there was no queue there. So, um, basically everything was like 20% more, basically, around that. So, it's definitely not worth shopping in Dubai unless it's something you really, really want. I recommend buying gold, diamonds. I mean, I'm not saying we've all got the budget for this because even I can't afford to buy a diamond, but, um, it's good for jewellery and like local things. Don't buy the designer things, but I guess you all knew that anyway. So um, that's my little shopping trip. I fell in love with the Celine vanity. I fell in love with the Louis Vuitton trunk bags. Um, and that was it really. I don't think I saw anything else. But thank you so much for watching. Sorry if it's been a long one. Um, next week we have the France vlog at the house. I'm showing you all the furniture. That's an amazing one, so do subscribe. Do um, give it the thumbs up because I've, I heard after five years of doing this that that actually helps the, um, the video. So please do do that if you can. I'm going to take off this mascara and I'm going to sit with my gua sha because it's literally like the most relaxing thing for me. And I'm going to read my book or maybe I'll watch Black Mirror. I'm not sure. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Bearing with me, sharing this with you. Um... Yeah, but I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better than before. I mean, I haven't got any results yet, but I'm feeling what will be will be. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll link my everything you've seen. I'll try and link everything. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next vlog.